We're back now with the latest outbreak of violence in the district. It is just the first week of June, and there have now been more than 100 people killed across the city. That's the fastest that D.C. has hit the 100 homicide mark in two decades. Tonight, News 4's Mark Seagraves takes a look at those numbers and has reaction from the mayor and the police chief. The murder of 29-year-old Joshua White yesterday at this gas station on South Capitol Street in Southeast was the 100th homicide in D.C. so far this year. But two more killings in the past 24 hours puts the total number this year at 102. It is indeed a grim milestone. Um, any day, would, it would be grim, okay, to talk about 100 people in a city our size being lost to gun violence. You have to go back to 2003 when D.C. suffered 100 homicides this early in the year. The district is now on track to hit at least 200 for the third year in a row. Interim Police Chief Ashan Benedict pointed to reductions in other crimes as bright spots and promises residents will see more police in neighborhoods with high crime in coming weeks. You're going to see a proactive police department this summer. We are making gains. We're making strides. The homicides, unfortunately, are something that, um, again, it, it, we take it so seriously, but uh, we've got to put that into context. Mayor Bowser has been pushing for more accountability for people convicted of violent crimes as Republicans in Congress have put crime in D.C. on the national political agenda, blocking the recent revised criminal code from taking effect and labeling the D.C. Council as soft on crime. As Bowser continues the search for a new police chief, she has submitted legislation to the D.C. Council she says will help reduce the number of violent crimes in D.C. We work every single day uh, to make sure that we are driving down those numbers. We're focused, of course, on closing gaps in the law, looking at what we can do better administratively and making sure that we have programs and services that are engaging our young people, but that the system of consequences uh, is also working. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. While the district is seeing a spike in murders, nationwide big cities are seeing a decline. New York City's murder rate is down close to 14% from last year. Philadelphia down by 16%. And Chicago has seen a 6% drop over the past year. Murders are down about 12% in more than 90 cities that have released data for 2023 compared with this same time last year.